Hi guys, Boris Dorf from an LBC Capital Income Fund. Uh, I wanted to follow up on my previous video about uh, the CPI index. Uh, the new reading just came on and the CPI is down again. Uh, for those of you that don't know, CPI is a consumer price index. Uh, you hear a lot about inflation, inflation. How do you know that there is inflation? Things are going up in value. How do you know things are going up in value? You see this in the stores, in a gas station, but official data is done by, forgot the government entity, Bureau of Labor Statistics or, God, okay, I'm sorry, I knew that. Anyways, the government releases CPI numbers monthly and in last video I told you uh, the trajectory of the numbers over the past year and my projections going forward uh, it probably fo followed graph like this level it peaked uh, a few months ago and then it dropped off and then it dropped off again right and I think the trajectory is gonna be like this uh, over the next few months but our CPI has come down significantly uh, if you look at my last video, uh, I broke it down month by month over the past 12 months. But what is CPI and what goes into it? So CPI is the consumer basket of goods con that consists of, uh, I had it somewhere written down, 211 uh, consumer goods, services, and household items. Over 32 geographical locations. Uh, Basically things like housing, cars, uh, fuel. So I outlined the CPI here. Shelter, 32% of the CPI. So when you see rents going down, that means, or not increasing as much, that means we'll see lower inflation data, lower CPI. Food consists of 14%. Medical consists of 7%. By the way, uh, I've seen the cost of medical procedures uh, drop significantly over the past year. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, a lot of people held off on elective surgeries. And uh, when pandemic was over, there was a lot of pent up demand, you know, like cosmetic dentistry, plastic surgeries, you know, all the beautiful lips and other body parts. Uh, and uh, uh, these things are significantly down. Uh, food is down. If you guys go to the super, supermarket, uh, not across the board, but it was rising like crazy during the pandemic. So food, maybe it's, if, if not down, it leveled off. But you see a lot of more things on sale. Uh, medical. And this one really surprised me because I never thought of it as 1% of the budget. But some of my friends told me that, uh, hey, 1% is actually <laughs> uh, actually too low. They thought it would be 5%. So I don't know how much you're making or how much you're drinking. And uh, I guess the more you make, the more expensive uh, top shelf stuff you drink. But um, I was surprised it's part of the consumer basket at all. But uh, yes, it makes sense. We go to the bars, uh, we watch football games, we invite people who drink alcohol. Okay, so people in California are normal. Uh, used cars, 3.4% of the consumer basket. So out of 100% budget, out of $100, 3.4 goes uh, towards used cars only. There's new cars and uh, the prices of the used cars shut up during the pandemic. Uh, they've been going down consistently over the past few months. So next time CPI reading comes in, uh, comes in my guess is uh, used cars will drag it down, uh, medical will drag it down, uh, food will probably stay the same or drag it down. Uh, apparel, uh, again, things are going on sale. Uh, after the pandemic, you have not seen a lot of things. There was supply shortage. You have not seen a lot of things. And by the way, have you seen fuel? Uh, have you seen fuel at the pump? Uh, I was driving today in the city in LA. It was about 449, 450. And uh, I remember seeing it uh, in high sixes. So, so fuel came down s significantly as well. 
the big one of course is uh, shelter uh, what we pay for rent and uh, this number should be closely watched it's been going up like crazy uh, my guess it's still gonna go up but not at the same pace okay so these are the components of uh, the CPI and this is why we're gonna see a lower reading again uh, in early January when December numbers come up, okay? And uh, otherwise, real estate market is great. Things are not selling, but prices are not dropping significantly. Uh, mortgage rates dropped. Uh, uh, you can get a mortgage in low to mid fives again already. And we saw rates almost hit 7%. So that's a good news. And uh, let's see what the next year uh, brings us. Oh, and I've been talking a lot about last year about Tesla and Bitcoin, Tesla stock and Bitcoin investments. And you don't hear a lot of Bitcoin talk as much as there was before. So um, uh, it's logical. But what I've been saying that Tesla stocks is correlated to Bitcoin for one reason or another. And Tesla stock has lost 60% of the value. And the moral of the story, guys, be diversified. It's okay to buy Bitcoin. Uh, it's okay to buy Tesla stocks, but don't dump your hard-earned money into these, I don't know, I don't want to say anything, but into these almost investments, okay? Guys, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. It's good to see you, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.